Good morning, everyone. Good morning and welcome to uh, this morning session. We'll continue with our course about prophetic and apostolic ministry. We'll pray and get started. So let me just begin with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for this time that you have given us. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you that, Lord, um, uh, little by little, Lord, we are uh, gaining understanding, oh God, and Lord, uh, that, Father, we are being prepared, Father God, to flow in the gifts of the Spirit, uh, and Lord, just to uh, Lord, keep moving forward into the fullness of whatever you have for us, oh Father God. We thank you once again, Lord, we speak your blessings upon um, every single student, their families. We pray your blessings upon the faculty and their families as well, Father. We commit all things into your hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so um, let's get back into our lesson. I was telling us that today we will do practice. So today is practice day. I hope all of you are ready. Uh, we've seen some of the um, some of the do's and don'ts, what things help us to flow in the prophetic, what things don't help us to flow in the prophetic. The practical aspects have been discussed. So I'm sure it will be easy for us to flow. And uh, today that's what we are going to do. We were at page 146 in the last class, and we said that sometimes we have a need for affirmation, meaning we want people to tell us that whatever we shared was correct or whatever we spoke was accurate. Okay, so that uh, it's a need that all of us have, but we must not become too dependent on it because it's possible that sometimes the word is correct. And somebody is touched by it, somebody is transformed by it, but they never respond or they never show like, you know, they have heard from uh, what they heard was accurate. So we may never know. And that's another reason why the biggest test is within ourselves. What is it that I'm hearing? Is it accurate? This is, is it the right time? How should I put it? How should I release it? Do that much. That's it. All other things are external, you know, how people are responding, all that. Don't depend too much on it, that we must get an affirmation or, you know, we must get a positive response. Now, coming to one last point, after which we will get into the practice, it is distractions. Obviously, uh, there are many distractions whenever we want to focus on a single matter. Uh, when it comes to prophesying, there could be matters like, you know, the way Jesus said, the cares of this world, the deceitfulness of riches. There are all these things that are distracting us even from our spiritual walk with the Lord, isn't it? Now, when we want to prophesy, these same things can affect us. Our mind is that place where um, many, many, many... Uh, like our attention can go to many aspects, right? So keeping our mind focused is where we may struggle. Let's say I want to hear from God, okay? But I am too busy. So when we are too busy, what happens? Our mind is working. Okay, how do I solve this problem? How do I make this happen? So we are not able to calm down our mind because of our busyness. Or maybe we are not able to calm down our mind because of some personal emotional struggles that we are going through. And we are trying to figure it out in our minds. We are not able to calm down. That can happen. Uh, or stress, right? Some form of stress that uh, is, is happening. Pressure. Or this has to be done or it has to be done like this. I am responsible. I have to do it. So our minds are uh, of, like a battleground. And in order for us to calm down and to tune into God is something that we have to practice. Okay, But the good part is we can. No matter how busy we are, no matter how under pressure we are, we can come to a place where we are tuning in, where we are focusing and we can still hear from God. 
so that will come from practice you remember we discussed one example where elisha the the three kings come to him yeah and then you know he yeah he he uh, discusses with them he gets angry and all but then he has to now prophesy so he doesn't know how to shift how to get into that mode of hearing from god so he calls for a musician and once the music is played then he starts saying thus says the lord so we all will figure out how do we come into that place of focus how do we come into that place of flowing you know in the spirit of god so that uh, is uh, somewhat challenging but we can practice okay now uh, coming to how how do we understand this there's a nice analogy given in that same section where uh, uh, pastor writes he writes if there is a dove we all know the bird right the dove bird it's supposed to be a very gentle bird so little bit of sound little bit of a jolt it'll fly away so imagine a dove is sitting on our shoulders how would we walk we wouldn't we wouldn't shake or disturb the bird otherwise it'll fly off so it's like that the holy spirit hearing from the holy spirit is like that when distractions have to be avoided okay uh, and uh, any like in the norm in the natural when a bird is sitting we won't shake or we won't jump we won't uh, try to run so that we are we can avoid the bird from flying away same way the holy spirit in us and the holy spirit speaking to us so i have to shut off all these distractions then only i can hear because he's a gentle spirit and we can't uh, you know quench him remember we read that don't quench the holy spirit so he's very gentle we need to allow him to speak and also tune in and listen what is he saying so now we come to the part of releasing the prophetic word releasing the gift of prophecy how do we release we can do it in three steps very easy three steps first is pray paul kept saying desire right desire uh, earnestly desire the gifts of the spirit so that is something that we must recognize unless there's a desire it won't flow so when i pray i have to say something like lord uh, i i want a prophetic word please give me a prophetic word give me a prophetic word for one person many people all these people so that's the prayer we make we'll ask god and desire for a prophetic word second perceive perceive simply means receiving receiving is god speaking something or not trying to figure that out that is perceiving so when we are perceiving it's almost like for those of us who know what radios are because uh, gen z uh, you know some examples you won't even understand if we say uh, so radio uh, is is a device that was used earlier to you know uh, listen listen to different stations and uh, those old gadgets like i remember we had one in my home and my parents used to tune it so unless you get the right frequency you won't hear that that program so it's like that so when we are trying to perceive it's like your your life on radio you are trying to check the frequency or is god saying something am i connecting to the station so we we have to connect to his frequency now we are saying this because the way god speaks can be in a couple of Uh, his communication can come in a couple of ways so when we say the, which frequency all we are saying is like check in our hearts is there an impression do we sense an impression in our hearts you know impression it's kind of hard to explain it's like a still small voice everything will be fine you know something like that or a scripture be still it's not like you heard it or anything but you just get it in your spirit it's an impression so maybe there's an impression or maybe you are seeing something 
like a flash of information you know you you're seeing a picture come to you you're seeing uh, uh, a vision of some sort so then you have to check that frequency also am i getting any pictures am i getting any vision see okay if if it's that great then you can share now sometimes information comes into your spirit okay how do you know that it's hard to explain but you kind of know it i don't know if i shared with our class once when i had to write one sermon i was not getting the title at all so i prayed and prayed and then finally you know i i got that title and i came out of the room as if like i have the title this is from god and i can't explain it to others how the way i felt but i knew that i knew that i knew i got it in my spirit and then i started writing it it was it was flowing the the content was flowing so what happened it's like for our generation we understand like a download you click one file and lots of uh, you know megabytes of information just came into your spirit that's information getting information from god it can happen like that also so check that frequency any information has come into my spirit or not uh, you could also check for words right uh, can we hear the audible voice of god sometimes we could but mostly we may receive a word or a sentence or a paragraph how do we receive it we may see a picture of that word or we may sense that word a word like uh, um power okay uh, it it's it's not an image it's not a vision it's not not even that information but you kind of you know that it's a word god is speaking power or one scripture one um, paragraph right you can pick up the word so the words come in minus the sound that's how god speaks that's the way the words come in then of course you have physical sensations okay physical sensations physical sensations can be like uh, you feel uh, hot you feel cold or you may feel pain we are fit and fine there's no problem with our bodies i i remember we used to do this uh, program called elevates in different colleges we used to do and back in those days there was permission so we used to take bible college students also uh, and uh, we would pray in different colleges in one of the hospitals i still remember till today i was just sharing and during prayer time i got the sharp pain in my elbow very sharp pain and i called it out i knew it's not my pain i didn't have any issues why should i get a pain in my elbow i immediately recognized it's a physical sensation word of knowledge so i called it out right arm sharp pain of the elbow is there anyone like that and then a few girls brought one of the girls and came i think she had had a fall and she was going through a lot of pain in her elbow exact place exact thing and when we started praying for her um, you know she was crying and she was going through that and they were so amazed the students were so amazed that god knows what somebody is going through so sometimes <coughs> we can know that you may feel something in your body which is not yours but actually god is showing you that it is for somebody else okay that also can happen all right so these are all the ways in which we pick up what god is saying um and uh, then comes the part when we have to prophesy prophesy simply means communicating it releasing it in an appropriate way so first we pray then we perceive whether god is speaking in any one of these methods then once we get it we have to then share it okay sound simple okay great so what we'll do is we'll just practice this we'll pray and trust god to give us a word for one another we have our friends online as well so please feel free if you get a word uh you can unmute and share or you can uh, post it here in the chat and i'll read it out for for all of us um so let's trust god to speak to us okay and it's uh, i for me especially it's the most exciting thing to hear from the lord so
let's do this. Okay, let's begin. I'll just say a word of prayer, after which uh, I encourage us to just be calm. Just be calm and begin to perceive. Then after about one minute, when I say, all right, let us share, then let's start to speak to one another. Okay, so let's begin with the word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you, we praise you. Lord, how beautiful it is that you are a God who speaks to us. Father, this morning we pray that you will speak to our hearts, Lord. You will speak to our situations, O oh God. Lord, we thank you that you are a speaking God. And Father, we desire to hear from you, Lord. Speak to us. We pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now just perceive. If you want to pray in the Spirit, you can do that as well. As you pray in the Spirit, just wait on the Lord. We'll take about a minute and then we will come back and share with one another. Yes, Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for this time and speaking to our hearts, so oh God. Lord, even as we release your word, we pray that it will be a blessing for each of us, so oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, let's uh, go ahead. Please use the mic. You can share what you saw or you perceived and even those online please feel free to share
Anyone? Any? Whatever you sense, you can share. Go ahead. Don't worry. Right or wrong, you just go ahead. I uh, I don't know for whom uh, I don't have any specific, but uh, I'm sure I saw this one like the beginning. Like uh, I saw nerve, and I saw like blood uh, flowing through the nerve. Okay, wow. So you saw a nerve, yeah, and blood is flowing through the nerve. Oh, praise God, praise God. Okay. What mm. it means, like. Yeah, yeah. I don't get sure. it. I saw that one, and also like, I when I saw that, I don't know what it is. I was just praying in the spirit, and then I got an image or image of a fruit. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, for me, I sense like it's a pomegranate fruit. Okay, it's okay. Too, that's... Okay, sure, sure. So, can anyone relate to this? A nerve. Nerve and blood flowing through it, and uh, then later when he played, he saw fruit. So, uh, anyone, anything that you feel connects you to this word? All right. So uh, no worries. We'll leave it out there. We'll just share the words. OK. And uh, any interpretation of what this may mean? Yeah, I'll just share my interpretation. We'll, of course, leave it open for others also to share. But I just feel like it's probably got to do with the nerve condition that somebody may have. Um, and I, I, from what whatever you you said, this is my sense. Uh, I have I feel like uh, so somebody is going through a nerve condition, but they're healed. And even like the blood of Jesus, right? The blood of Jesus is uh, that symbol of our redemption. So now that we are redeemed, healing is part of uh, what we have. So healing for that nerve condition. And maybe the person is also praying and saying, Lord, if I'm free of this, I can be more fruitful in my life. So uh, maybe that's what the Lord is saying. You know, you're, I'm healing you and you continue to serve me. So that's my sense. Uh, but yeah, of course, we're open to others also commenting about the interpretation. So anything else? Just b be bold, step out. Uh, this is the place to learn. Any of our online batch? Uh, yeah, Pastor, this uh, thing that I received is for specifically for Francis. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, Francis sure. Yeah, yeah. Francis. Francis is here. Yeah. So, Francis, the Lord is asking you, Francis, do you love him? Mm. He mm. asked uh, in John chapter 21. Yeah. And the Lord knows your answer, but he wants you to know for yourself mm. by spending time in his presence and accept and answer his call over your life. Okay. So sure. The Lord specifically answer, asking Francis, will you honor God above mm -hmm. anything else is his question to you personally. You don't have to answer us or answer now. You already know the call of God in your life. Will you answer him? That's, his, that's, what, that's what all I felt. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Thank you, Jacqueline. Thank you for sharing that. Um, so, Francis, you can just keep it. You don't have to worry about it. And then slowly you can pray and you can uh, ask the Lord. You remember what did we say? You should always put it on a shelf. <laughs> put it in the shelf. Pray about it and see, like, okay, what is God saying? Uh, and if you have a, 
if you feel a confirmation to that word, then you receive it and then you apply it. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Jacqueline. Thank you. Let's go ahead. Just share. Don't worry. This is a class. So we are all learning. Uh, I won't fear. Uh, yeah. Okay. Praise God. Yeah. Did you did you sense it for somebody or just general? General. Okay. You sensed it for in general. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's good. Sure. Thank you. Thank you, Nina. Any anything else? Anyone else? Just, I was just reading uh, again and again. I I don't know for it uh, this for whom this reference. I got this uh, Isaiah uh, chapter five verse two. Okay. Uh, it says like he dug it up and cleared out of out its stones, and planted it with the choicest vine. Uh, he built a tower in its midst, and also made a wine press in it. So he expected it to bring forth good grapes, but it brought forth wild grapes. Okay. Uh, so I was, uh, I uh, in the first two minutes only, I just got this Isaiah and fight too. It was okay. it was like in my hmm. uh, like in my eyes. I see. But I didn't open it. Huh. Now, after you just prayed and said, I don't know for whom to share. But huh. what I felt uh, is like someone of us, someone I don't know. I don't, I'm not, that's why I'm yeah. not specifying. We are not uh, like obeying him in some way. Okay. Uh, he was expecting more from us, but we are not up to it. Not up to it. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Sure. So Isaiah five two, uh, and the sense is that God's expectation is more than what we have to offer, and we have to step up. Okay. Fine. Yeah. We can keep that. Uh, so Nina, uh, I think the online batch couldn't hear your voice properly. Uh, would you mind repeating it? Yeah, I I sensed um, uh, that song, Men, Mena Darunga. Yeah. The, I was not thinking about that. So I just have that sense of that first verse of that song. Yeah, sure. It's good. Yeah. So, Jack and I hope uh, that was clear. You heard it, right? So, do not fear. That is the sense that she got. Yeah. Anything else, Francis? Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right, Nikhil. Nothing. All right. Uh, any anyone from the online batch? OK, so I can just share what I saw. And then we can do this again. OK, we'll do a second round. Uh, so I felt uh, the first one I saw jewelry. Yeah, jewelry, like beautiful jewelry with a lot of intricate designs and everything. And I was like, Lord, who is this for? Who do you want to um, share this to? And like. Uh, <clears throat> I think the passage is Isaiah 60, right? Where um, God talks about beautifying his house. Yeah, he talks about beautifying and strengthening. Uh, so these are the kind of works that the Lord does. Uh, and I, I felt it was for Nina. For you, Nina, I felt like God is saying, I will strengthen you. I will 
you know uh, bring that glory my glory into your life and cause you to shine uh, so I, i feel like that's an encouraging word i'm bringing like even beauty for ashes it says right so so i could immediately i i when i said lord who is it for i'm seeing this jewelry then uh, I, and i also could sense that interpretation that it's about strengthening and beautifying and then it immediately came this is for nina so that's for you and uh, i also saw bones i saw like one long bone uh, and i felt like somebody with any uh, bone issue bone conditions it's a lot is touching them healing them so if you know of anyone you're praying for who is going through a bone issue then just claim it for that person yeah okay so these were my thoughts uh how about we pray again let's pray okay round 2 <laughs> trust god hear from god come on so this time around what you can do is just we'll take one and a half minutes for half a minute pray in the spirit and then one minute perceive and then let's come back and let's share
All right, let's um, come back and begin to share what we feel the Lord is speaking. Uh, I especially want to encourage the online batch. Please do share. It's a good opportunity to step out. Yeah. Yes, who would like to get started? Did you see anything? Did you sense anything? Did you get a word? Maybe a scripture? OK, how many did not get anything? can just put up your hands. OK, one. Uh, how about the online? OK, yeah. Some, yeah, OK. few of us here. That's fine. That's OK. At least I'm glad you know you, you are able to recognize that you didn't get anything. That's fine. So that makes only three out of so many of us. That means everyone else got something. <laughs> then you, everyone has to share today. Whatever it is, it's fine. Just say. Just say. Yeah. I saw a bookshop, ma'am. OK. I don't know what it is. It's just huh. a bookshop. That's OK. It. You saw a bookshop. So when you say you saw a bookshop, how how did you see a bookshop? Like, what exactly? Like, it's a kind of uh, video, uh, like a scene. There is a bookshop and there are some steps. Mm -hmm. And 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 I went there sometime, I think so. Okay. I'm not sure. Okay. But I saw a book. But I couldn't uh, interpret in any way. I, I see. I just saw that and then it's blank. Ah. Uh, uh, and you're sure you, you didn't sense anything more? Just that picture. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We will we will take that. So let it be and let's continue. Let's continue. Let's see. So I don't know if, if for actually for whom. Okay. Uh, maybe Nina, Jackin, or Ravali. Because mm -hmm. I opened my stream like first I saw Ravali, but I, I saw the name of Ravali, but I'm not sure for okay. for anyone. But okay. what I saw is first a sharp knife. Uh, I like to call I saw a weapon. Okay. And a watchtower. So it means like like whoever have the more prayer life or whoever have the passion for the nation. Yeah. Uh God is empowering and like or that person have little of fear how it's gonna be possible. Like okay. if I am doing like as this, especially in the prayer life, okay. Like while praying, my like my interpretation for that is what I sense is like no need to fear. You already got give the authority and the weapon and like whatever you need all the strength on you no need to fear and no need to doubt about that and yes. god give the calling to to watch over all of the things not only for your family or on your f physical life and all especially this person have the passion for the the place they are living okay yeah uh, and like okay very concerned about the people who is like losing their life without knowing Jesus? They have the passion on the life, but they are not able to come out from that feeling. That is the reason they are start prayer life, but now is going through like little of fear kind of thing. Okay. Like okay, okay. God is saying, like this is like no need to fear. I already given the authority. I'm already sent the new. Yes. No need to worry about anything. Yes. Yes, praise God. So you mentioned uh, you're not sure, but uh, uh, Ravali, Jackin, or 
Nina, Nina so John. I saw these three uh. names. Okay, okay. Not in his, his spiritual eyes. Yeah. You, you, so, you just felt like yes. it could be them. Okay, got it, got it. So Francis, one sec, one sec. So just for us to learn, okay. Uh, so I'm saying, uh, how how did you get this message? How like did you first see I a picture? First I saw the vision um, and I okay. Like I saw the picture. Like this hmm. is the thing, uh, uh -huh. and I sensed like this. Okay, this could be like this. you sensed something. Yes, yes. You sensed okay. This could then be? Oh. Like, I'm not confirmed. Like is it the real? Is I need to talk or not? Uh -huh. Then I start talking. Yeah. Like suddenly it's come out. Like this is right, the thing. Right, 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 right. Yeah. So I noticed that because I think you just started with just you wanted to share that much only, but when you started speaking so much, you shared. Yeah. So it happens like that also. When we take the first step, everything else starts flowing. You remember we said Nabi, uh, yeah, inspired, see a prophet, Nabi, prophet. So that's how it works. So sometimes you just have to start. You open your mouth and then it will flow. Okay. So good. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks so much for sharing that. That's really good. That's helpful. Nikhil, what was your experience? <clears throat> I don't know, ma'am, but just uh, uh, when I was praying, so that time I just saw one land. So that land was fully dried. Then, uh, because uh, rain came, so that filled with water. So new grass came. Mm. So I don't know what uh, uh, God is going to bless someone through many blessings. Okay. I don't know who's that. Okay. But Maybe yeah. so many blessings is going to come. I'll claim it off if no one wants to. <laughs> you can do that, you know. I always do that. Like when you hear something and you sense it in your spirit, like, yeah, that's meant for you, then you know it's for you. But otherwise, if it's a good word, why not just say claim it? Amen. Yeah, thanks, Nikhil. That's a good word. Thank you. Yeah, sure. So in first time, like when I'm praying, like I saw kind of same thing. I saw a dry land. Yeah. It's a small pit of mud. Then like it changed, it's transformed into a construction building. Wow. wow. Like, okay, it's like kind of blessing on the property mm -hmm. or like who is seeking for like some blessings or I sense like breakthrough. Yes. Yeah, who is praying for breakthrough mm -hmm. or who is seeing for I need to like this position mm -hmm. I need to engage so that I, I think that for that person who amen, is to... amen. sure so see uh, in because we know scripture we can tell that this is correct because God is a redeemer he's a redeemer restorer from dryness to flourishing he does that so it's from the Lord so amen to that and uh, yeah whoever feels this is a word for you, you can just take it. Right? Thank you. Thanks, Nikhil. Thanks for sharing. Prince, anything else? Anything more? I just want to like have uh, give my, like when Nikhil was sharing, what the understanding of it, what that was inside of me is like, maybe uh, there is a shift in change from uh, wilderness or uh, hardship to a new season. Yes. Uh, that's what I have uh, got it inside when I sh he was sharing like the dryness represents the hardships or uh, the season of testing what we go through wilderness and all and maybe that season has finished where god was pouring out his rain for the flourishment for the things to grow yes that's what the meaning i have got when he was sharing it when yeah in what i have experienced how there are many things I have seen, but I don't know. For, for my side, uh, I'm I'm first thing is I'm pretty sure I have seen these things, but I don't know how they can be connected or how they can make sense. So first, I saw a door. Okay. It's like a old door, like vintage kind of door. It is. Yeah. Uh, and then I saw like a uh, digging a pit, like yeah. Uh, so may to uh, like tell it more clear, it's like uh, when burial happen, they will dig a pit yeah. for like it's like that. It's okay. a 
pit that was already dug. That one I saw. And I saw this old door. And then I saw a uh, keys. I saw keys. Keys, okay. So I saw, especially I saw keys in a to a finger. Uh... I saw that one. And then I also have uh, two words. I got two words. One is like mind, like so much troubled mind. Yes. Uh, and like mind battle, like related to mind who mm -hmm. are fat, battling. And then I got like you speak peace over that mind. Okay. So this is what. Uh, okay. I've so got. all these images are for one person or are they disconnected? That I don't know. Ma'am. But know. for okay. it's like I saw one picture at the time. By the time I have recognized, oh, it's a old door. And then that image was yeah. faded off and I saw the another, another one. one. Yeah. So uh, like we can always ask God. You can say like, Lord, what is it? Who are you showing this for? Is there anyone? Is this all meant for one person? So we can also keep communicating with God and, and checking, but it's good. You know, you've received all this. I'm more focused on what I'm seeing. Is seeing, really okay. Me not yeah. Me. But when you say, I saw, I saw, how was it? Like you closed your eyes, you yeah, saw I one picture. My, or... I closed my eyes. I just uh. made everything still. I just like whatever coming into me, I just kept it and just, it's like I just kind of, did, you know, like. How we say like be still in God's presence. Yes. I was just still. Yeah. Uh, I prayed in tongues for a few minutes and then I just felt like I calm. And actually, to be even frank, I didn't even I just forgot I was in the classroom for a minute. Okay. okay. Until you I have heard your voice. Yeah. I'm not here with yes. me. I like I just like the surrounding was so unconscious to me. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, Prince. Uh, that's really good to hear what the Lord is speaking to you. Uh, we'll go to the online batch here. I think, Anthony, did you want to share? I saw your hand raised. So if you want to share, please do. You can unmute and share. All right. So while, uh, you know, Anthony, let's see. Yeah. So, Anthony, I thought you raised your hand, so that's why I'm asking you. Please do share if you have anything. I'll quickly come to the chat section here where Nina John says, I'm actually at a clinic. Oh, okay. Fine. So, I'm able to do more at this point. Okay, I understand. So, she's not able to uh, respond. That's fine. Uh, but I think it's good. We've had an initial exercise, right? Uh, and a couple of things that we have learned from our experiences today, there are pictures that we can see. Uh, and, you know, we also can tell who that is for. Uh, so we can speak to God and we can get more information regarding what he is speaking to our hearts. Okay. Uh, what else did we see? We saw that uh, sometimes we just have to step out. Once you step out, more comes. Okay, so that also we've seen. We've seen how uh, we can assess the word. Is it in line with what God is saying or the nature of God? So certain words are uh, so clear cut. It's aligned to the character of God. Then it's easier for us to accept it. Right. So I would just encourage us pray in the spirit. Pray more and more and more in the spirit. Okay, and uh, stilling ourselves, that can be done in various ways, through prayer. Sometimes we are so anxious, but what does Paul write to the Philippians? Don't be anxious for anything, but you know, in prayer, for all things, in prayer, make your request known to God. So how can I still myself? Prayer. Prayer will help me. Then I can be calmer. I can hear from the Lord. So prayer life, pouring out our hearts before the Lord. Overcoming that anxiety, we can hear God better. How can we hear from the Lord? When we are meditating more in the word of God, what happens to us? Uh, one is faith arises, more faith for operating in the gifts of the spirit. But Isaiah 26 verse 3, Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. So how do we stay our mind on God? By staying our mind on his word. 
so the more i meditate on the word of god peace and calm peace and calm see for us as pastors it's sometimes it's very challenging you might have had a really tough time driving up uh, to the church service or somewhere and now you have to minister your mind is like oh, that guy the way he drove and you're like over there but then you you you've got to calm down because you have to hear from the lord right so it's the good things that you know i feel like worship time when worship happens that's a nice time like you're able to calm yourself down or you can meditate on scripture some scripture just declarations switch to that so sometimes when i'm driving up to church also i'm only praying in the spirit i'm just hearing like okay the work of the cross was so powerful you know what what are the blessings of the cross what are the covenants of the cross i try to think about these things so when as you're focusing your mind on the lord you hear better when you're going to minister so just a couple of things so it has to do a lot with uh what we are saying right train yourself practice the more we do these things the more our spirit man gets aligned and then we are able to flow better okay so with that let's wrap up for uh, this session and i request uh, any one of us to please pray before we close pray and lifa thank you for this wonderful time thank you for your with us lord your presence is with us thank you for your leading in the prophetic way lord jesus thank you for which vision you show which in the protection you give lord jesus all for your glory lord we are thanking you we are giving you thanks lord jesus in jesus name we pray amen amen thank you francis thank you everyone god bless you continue to hear from the lord and uh, we'll connect on monday monday morning bye for now